All right, race fans, we are getting underway with the 106th race to Mackinac. What we have on the screen here is the racing fleets. They are down at the starting starting line and actually have just blazed their path right past the end of the Navy Pier here, and everyone's toasting their champagne to the racers as they go past, heading out to the starting area where they're congregating, and actually some of the um, early starts are already making their way up the lake. So they're just getting rolling, but I wanted to pass along the, a summary for the weather of the day and, and moving into tomorrow. Uh, Chris Bedford gave the detailed weather report to the racers this morning. We actually have it posted on uh, on our Facebook page and, and on the uh, race website as well. But just wanted to hit the high points. And what that is is the, the racers are going to be under really nice sunny skies and, and uh, nice temperatures, but really light winds for the start. So you're seeing that now. Let's just check in real quick. And you know, 2.3 knots. Um, uh, MASH is at 2.1 knots. So they're moving pretty slow. Uh, to start here, and I think that's that's due to a couple things. We'll get into the details of how this beginning of the race might shape out in just a second. But as they move past uh, the, the starting line and get out of the Chicago area, the, the race looks better for them as they move up the course. The, the projections have changed a little bit. They're actually looking like more pressure is going to greet them at the north end of the lake. That's, uh, that's a great thing because that means uh, as soon as that wind fills in, they're actually going to move quite nicely. It should be a southerly breeze that's going to get them up, and, and a south breeze isn't bad from coming from the Wisconsin side. That'll actually be a nice course uh, with a spinnaker and probably a broad reach to get across when they decide to do that. Uh, we'll look at the maps on that here shortly. So with the fastest boats um, able to move pretty quickly in that heavy breeze that's forecasted, we might get some finishes on Sunday night, and maybe the majority of the fleet actually finishing into Monday. So turning into a quick race, even though the current conditions do not show that. So I'll zoom out for just a second here while I'm on this page, and we can just see how the, the spray of the, the starting boats here are, are taken off, and, and they are indeed going left. You can see the rum line. This is kind of the direction. This red line is the shortest course that they can take, but they're definitely in search of wind. So we're going to pop over to the Harrison Deaver crib report. So you can see here this webcam. This is the Harrison Deaver crib just off the coast, just three miles, almost three miles off the coast of Chicago. This is a current webcam feed, so you can see some boats going by. So this is kind of the conditions they're in here at the start. Uh, on the left side here, you have the summary of the wind readings. And you can see the wind speed is, for the last three hours, has been two knots with gusting just to three. Um, not much to it. You can go into the finer detail here, and, and what this shows on the left side is the uh, every five minute increments it takes a reading. So it's it's pretty steady, two to three knots. That's that's pretty tough living, but they're gonna make the best of it. And but what I do see happening here to give a little hope is in the wind direction. You can see that it's gone from uh, upwards, like kind of northeast, and over the last four hours has clocked around to now a 60 degree heading. So it's now getting closer to east. And what I think is happening here is we're going to see uh, a thermal building. And wh what that really is is the land heating up and that hot air rising and sucking the cold air off the lake underneath it. So it's kind of creating a localized wind pattern just along the shore. And when that happens in Chicago, on a day like today is a perfect day for it. It's sunny, warm, land's going to heat up, and the water is pretty cold still. I think this will fill in for the guys. And so I think We'll see a lot of them head left, try and go up to Illinois into Wisconsin border during the day today to get past this uh, this little lake breeze issue we have going on at the south end of the lake. So we'll look to see the wind hopefully continue to clock around. It should stabilize at a, around 140 if that is indeed what's going on. So we can, we can check that progress as the day heats up. Um, moving on to the the wind reports from NOAA. We'll just kind of cruise through the, um, the time frames here. Reset back to current time. So this is the projected winds, and we'll kind of illustrate here what they're seeing at the bottom of the lake and also what, what might be waiting for them uh, in the hours to come as they move north. So right now we're on Saturday. Today this is the forecast for 11 a.m. So we're at 11 a.m., but this was the forecast for, for right now. Moving into 2 o'clock, you can see this white. The white's light, so the color coding is white is basically zero. And as you turn into pink to purple to blue, you're building up in, into the high teens by the time you get to blue. So keep that in mind as you're looking at the map here. And the way these uh, wind bars read, the, the tail is like the tail of an arrow. So we're pointing right here, where that's the south breeze projected uh, 
this would be a southwest breeze projected. So you can see how this, this model works as we click through. So this afternoon, they're going to have to get past this. Like I said, the, the thermal, if it builds, will be along here, along the shore. So we'll look for a lot of the racing fleets to go this way just to get away and into the, uh, the northern waters. Um, so let's click, keep going into the afternoon here. 5 p.m., you can see the, the uh, conditions start to change. And as you go into the tonight, what you're going to start to see at the north end of the lake is uh, a little bit of a build and into Sunday morning. Um, if the racers can pick up some speed, they'll get to this uh, by maybe Sunday morning. They'll get into these these better, better wind ranges where we're up around 10 or 10 to 15. And then as you move further north, like 15 to 20. So there's hope on the horizon for these guys. They just got to get past the start. So we'll see how they do. We'll check back in in a little bit and uh, see how they're doing after all the starts are off. Take care.